Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. Uh, I've just arrived in Con Can. I've left my bags at the hotel because I can't check in until 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to have a bit of a look around. At the moment I've just stopped at a little coffee shop here to have uh, a cup of coffee and a bit of uh, relax after the bike ride. It was only like 40 minutes, 45k or something like that. I just forget now. But yeah, it was a good ride. I got some GoPro footage. I'm going to do a video on uh, roads in Thailand, driving and riding around Thailand. Yeah, so um, I hope you're going to enjoy these videos. It'll probably take me a while to edit them. I'm not sure I'll get anything up for a couple of days. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, it's looking good at the moment. I've had a good trip. I've got some good footage and uh later today i might get the drone up again somewhere have a look at something or tomorrow i think i'll stay here for two days yeah i've got a pretty good hotel although i haven't looked at the room yet so we'll see okay so ciao for now so i'm at the uh, national park in con can i don't know if this is on a river or a lake i'm pretty sure it's a lake i know that uh CB Media has been here and because they have uh, boat racing and stuff like that on the lake here. I don't know if it's a lake or a dam, but it's uh, pretty. Just thought I'd come around and uh, shoot a bit of video in Concan while I'm waiting to check into my hotel room because I can't check in until 12 o'clock. Facing the sun, facing the east over that way. Maybe later on today or tomorrow I'll go over the other side. I think it's the other side to get the sunset. Some pretty good sunsets over this lake. Yeah, it looks like it's a lake. Yeah, so um, it's pretty. Right in the middle of the city of Concan. You can most likely feed the fish down here, but yeah. Not a bad looking spot, really. God, I'm so sick of wearing the mask. Obviously, there's plenty of temples here. I didn't want to go too far out of town to video anything because I'm really keen to check into my hotel room and get changed out of the jeans and shoes from the long bike ride. Another big temple over there. Some high rise going up. Yeah, so an interesting place. We shall see what Concan has to offer. It was a nice ride up here. Yeah, yeah it'd be interesting to see the boat races and whatnot on here. Obviously, uh, people come here to work out. They've got the gym equipment set up in the park. A lot of parks in Thailand have this. And a lot of people actually keep fit. Unlike moi, <laughs> my fitness involves getting up and down off the sofa. Now I do a bit. I do a lot of walking when I'm making these videos, I tell you. And a lot of stairs. A lot of these temples have lots of stairs. So yeah, I'll put the name of this park and everything in the uh, information under the video when I edit. It's quite pretty in some ways yeah so i might stop now and i'll just go for a walk across the road and have a look at that okay temple. so uh, these people are playing a game called patong which is similar to in italy what they i think they call bocca but in this game of patong there are many different games that they play with different rules so obviously you've got to get uh near the uh, red ball there without going over the line or without hitting the ball or something i'm not 100 percent sure some people may know make video for youtube uh -huh. what is the name of youtube thailand dreaming thailand dreaming thailand dreaming <laughs> interesting a morning in the park there's an englishman there there's an Englishman over here playing with the Thai people. Yeah, so this is 
popcorn can in the morning. Oh, oh, not too bad. Good shot. Okay, so there's Patong in the morning. In the so I'm heading over the road here to have a look at what Klang. Looks really pretty. Really, really pretty. Well, this opening anyway, the entrance to it. I won't go inside because I've got shoes on and I don't really want to take my shoes off. So yeah, pretty looking place. Some here, some at the doorway. Interesting. Some of this uh, complex looks new. Some of it looks very old. It's in the middle of the city of Konkan. Quite ornate as most temples are in Thailand. Pretty sure I can't go in there. I know I definitely can't go inside, but I can go through the gate and have a look. Just to take you with me on my journey. go in because I don't really want to have to take my boots off. Uh, always you can tell at the temple which is the crematorium because that's it with the big chimney. That's the crematorium. Okay, so what Klang. An interesting little morning's outing waiting to check into the hotel in Kong Can at the park watching a game of Patong or Boca. I think that's what it's called in Italy. Um, you know, someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Yeah, so okay, I'm gonna head back to the hotel and see if I can harass them into letting me into my room. Ciao for this now. is my room at the Glacier Hotel. It cost me 850 baht or something like that. I don't know, about 34 bucks or something like that for the night. It's not a bad looking room. Looks clean and tidy. Uh, the place is aged a little, but looks okay to me. Okay, so there's plenty of storage room. There's a safe. Plenty of storage room, extra pillows. Okay, a nice bathroom. It actually has a bath. Oh, with a glass front if you want to bathe and look at your buddy as well. Okay, so it looks fairly clean. It's not too bad. A lot of space there. Okay, so uh, you've got your shampoo and everything like that. You've got a bath, you've got your towels, you've got a bath mat. Uh, apparently the hot water is not working, there's only warm water, so they've upgraded me to a superior room. So here I am in the superior room, big king size bed, some lamps, it's quite nicely decorated, it's not a bad looking room really. Bit of a view out over the city of uh, Konkan. Yeah, so not too bad at all. Uh, TV, I'm certain that there's Wi-Fi, I'll have to find out about the Wi-Fi password and whatnot. So, really big spacious room, really big king size bed, don't know what it's like for softness or hard, oh, it's medium I guess, should be okay. Yeah, so uh, there's a fridge, there's a, uh, a chair and a working desk there, so I'll be able to do some video editing and whatnot. Um, there's uh, only water in the bar fridge, coffee making facilities, tissues. Yeah, so all in all, not too bad for about 32, 34 bucks. Hotel Glacier. Ah, oh, so today I've come to the Can Corn. Concan, Concan Municipal Health Park. 
Uh, it's a garden type place. There's uh, a lake. There's some fitness equipment. I think there's some pretty nice floral stuff around here somewhere. So probably walk around and have a look at that. At the moment, walking in the shade. Keep cool. It's a pretty hot day. The monster's wearing a mask. <laughs> and he's got the temperature gauge in his hand. That's hard set. That's hard set coronavirus stuff, that is. Getting it hardwired into everyone's brain. Not sure what this track is. It's a nice water feature, right in the middle of the city. Beautiful. Natural wetlands. With plenty of uh, fish and stuff in there. I haven't seen much uh, floral stuff yet. There's some flowers. And the sunflowers are finished. Would have been nice to see the sunflowers. It's a bit untended, this garden. The Thais do this really well, this sort of stuff. There's quite a lot of them in almost every city. Now, this is nice here. Pity there's no breeze, it's very, very hot. Unicorns, you don't see much of them around. <laughs> 